Welcome to the third round in a series of Virtua Fighter retrospective videos, taking a look back at Sega's legendary fighting game series. If the first two Virtua Fighter games were about getting three-dimensional human forms onto a screen and making them look and move like seasoned martial artists, then the third, released in 1996, was only concerned with taking that ambitious concept to the next level. All thanks to the unbeatable combination of the extraordinary Model 3 arcade hardware, beating at the heart of Virtua Fighter 3 and AM2's tireless commitment to excellence. Eyes were now capable of automatically tracking their opponent as they moved around in battle. Fingers could end with painted fingernails. Intricately embroidered clothing had layers that could move, sway, and even reflect light. One game earlier, these were all features you'd only find in promotional artwork or the highly detailed pre-rendered images of Virtua Fighter 2's digital portrait collection. In Virtua Fighter 3, these features all played out before your eyes in real time. The game's battlegrounds were given just as much care and attention as the combatants within them, largely abandoning the neat squares of old in favor of uneven floors and natural shapes, characters kicking up sand or getting their feet wet in running water as they moved around. A strong hit could see someone knocked into the clear blue sea or bounced off the low walls and fences, waiting at the edges of these remarkable arenas. And skilled players could deliberately move to higher ground to give themselves a tactical advantage over their opponent. And those weren't the only tricks up Virtua Fighter 3's industry-leading sleeves. For the first and only time, the series had a dedicated dodge button, enabling the cast, including newcomers Aoi Umenokoji and the mighty Taka Arashi, to swiftly move in or out of the screen and away from an incoming flurry of punches and kicks, creating fights that could turn into a whirlwind of thrilling near misses and lightning fast counterattacks in uneven arenas. The year after AM2 once again redefined exactly what it meant to be a flagship arcade title, they released Virtua Fighter 3TB, an upgraded version of the already boundary-pushing phenomenon, adding, yep, you guessed it, a team battle mode, allowing for intense three-against-three clashes in arcades all over the world. And at home, too as it was this version that launched alongside Sega's innovative Dreamcast in Japan back in 1998, giving console gamers their first and only chance to play this cutting-edge title in their own living rooms, and a chance to trade blows with the AI from a unique first-person point of view, too. Join us next time when we'll be taking a look at Virtua Fighter 4.